Hello everyone, this is Mansi from evkathy.in. Now we are starting with question number 3, exercise 3.4. So in this question we have explained how a square is, first of all, a quadrilateral. So we know that square is a quadrilateral, but why? Simple reason, because it has 4 sides. Because if we define a quadrilateral, ko, so we say a figure that has 4 sides. So square has 4 sides, hoti hai, so it is a Quadrilateral. Next we have why a square can be a parallelogram because opposite sides are equal. Square ki opposite sides equal hoti. Now we know that all sides are equal but agar a parallelogram se compare kare to uski bhi opposite side equal hoti hai. Then bisector hai dono ki diagonals. Right. So a key point ho gaya. Plus Opposite sides parallel hoti hai. Right. Opposite sides equal. Yehi bhe hum lik sakte hai equal and parallel. So opposite sides are parallel also. Right. Next we have why a square can be said that it is a rhombus. Because all sides are equal. Rhombus ki bhi sari sides equal hoti hai. Or square ki bhi sari sides equal hoti hai. Again. One more point that is diagonals bisect at 90 degree. Square may be each is hoti or rhombus may be. Last we have a rectangle. Why we can say a square is a rectangle? Dono may inner angles jo interior angles hoti hai, they are 90 degree. Also, dono may opposite sides are equal. Right. So we can say that a square is a rectangle. Okay, so this was question number 3. Let's come to the next question.